Megan Gibson here. Today I'm going to be performing the wound care dressing checkoff video. Um, but first I'm going to start with the 12 safety practices. So I'm going to verify the care and order for the client. I'm going to consult the facility's policy and um, perform hand hygiene before and after handling any supplies. And then I'm going to gather the necessary equipment. Uh, for any of the equipment that I'm going to be using, I'm going to consult the manufacturer's guidelines. And I'm going to knock on the client's door and identify them using two identifiers. Um, I'm going to note the overall condition of the client. Um, I'm going to explain the procedure to them and make sure I provide for privacy. And then I'm going to elevate the bed to promote good body mechanics. I'm going to don PPE if necessary. And then after the procedure is done, I'm going to lower the bed and apply the side rails according to their care plan. Um, I'm going to make sure that I um, place the call light within reach. And then I'm going to uh, report and record. So the first step, I'm going to remove the dressing that is already on the wound. So I'm going to put on some clean gloves. And if the client needed pain medication, I'd make sure I'd give it to them 30 minutes before we do the uh, dressing change. So I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, tension to the skin just to avoid any tearing or shearing. I'm going to be sure to uh, remove the dressing away from the client's face so that they um, don't see it. And I'm going to remove the packing. And then I'm going to observe the dressing. I'm looking for um, the type of drainage, whether it's serosanguineous, purulent, um, anything of that. And then I'm also going to observe uh, the, the wound bed itself um, for any types of drainage or um, things like that there as well. So I'm going to remove my gloves. Move this car. Then I'm gonna put on a clean pair of gloves. I'm going to measure the wound. I'm going to measure the length and the width first. Um, I'm going to make sure that I measure it in the same form of measurement, whether that's inches or centimeters, for both length and width. And I'm going to make sure I'm not touching um, the wound or the skin around the wound uh, to avoid contamination. So then I'm going to take my um, Q-tip applicator and I'm just kind of feeling around down in the wound for the deepest point. And once I've found it, I'm going to uh, place my Q-tip applicator there and slide my fingers all the way down to where it's level with the wound bed. And then I'm going to uh, take that measurement and um, use my measurement device. And then I'm also going to be checking for any uh, tunneling or undermining and the same technique with that. Um, I'm going to find the deepest point, slide my fingers down, measure it, and I'm going to use the, um, the clock technique, whether it's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, things like that. So I'm going to discard this as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, tape ready for um, once I've completed the dressing. It's a smaller one, so I'm probably only going to need two pieces. So I'm just going to make sure I get it long enough. And then I'm also going to have a piece of tape off so that I can uh, put my initials, the date and time. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and get uh, my, my dressing open, my kit over here. So I'm going to make sure that I do this with um, a septic technique. I'm going to maintain uh, my arms between my shoulders and my hips to avoid contamination. I'm going to maintain my one inch border as I'm opening this. So away first. So then when it comes to my solution, um, I'm going to be checking to make sure uh, that it's not expired, that I have the right kind, um, things of that nature. And I'm going to come around and pour it over my gauze. And then after that's done, we're going to go ahead and get our um, sterile gloving on. So same over here, we're going to maintain the one inch border. And 
I'm going to start with my dominant hand, so my right hand. I'm going to pinch the inside of this cup over here, making sure I don't touch the outside so that it stays sterile. And if it's messed up, that's fine. I can fix it after I've got both loving on. So then I'm going to reach the inside of this cup over here and slide my hand up. So now that I've got them both on, I can go ahead and touch the outside with them to fix the gloves. Okay. So now uh, we're ready to clean the wound. So I'm gonna take first dry gauze. I'm gonna make sure that I clean from the least contaminated area to the most contaminated area. And um, technically, the, most of the time, the uh, inside of the wound is considered the least contaminated. So I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm gonna use one piece of gauze for each swab. So now I'm going to take a piece of my wet gauze and I'm going to open it up and fluff it so that I can pack it in the wound. I'm going to take my Q-tip applicator and I'm going to make sure that um, once I'm done packing it, it's level with the loom bed, so that there's nothing um, hanging over the edges or things like that. And I'm gonna take just a piece of dry gauze on top. And then place my ADD pad. I'm going to place my tape. And then I have my piece of tape that would have my initials, the date, and the time on it. I'm going to place that on top. And then after that is finished, I'm going to report McCord. Thank you.